Welcome to Guest Host Friday. Uh, today we have a longtime Sandwiches of History fan and a subscriber to the Sandwiches of History Substack. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Please welcome Anita Epler Crotty. Why, hello, and welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we're going to be covering a sandwich from recent history, the Jammy Egg and Scallion Sandwich from 2022's The Cook You Want to Be by Andy Bargani. This book won all the awards in 2022 when it came out, and I'm usually pretty skeptical about those sort of things, but honestly, we've made a dozen recipes out of this book, and they've all been winners. So when Barry asked me to pick a guest hosting stint, I decided I knew where to look. Let's get started. The recipe calls for four scallions, thinly sliced, but I have giant scallions, so I'm just gonna use two. And I'm gonna use the white, light green, and just a little of the dark green here. And then we're gonna set those aside. Then we're gonna toast a tablespoon of sesame seeds, just over medium heat, probably about a minute. And then we fill a medium pan, three quarters full of water, and bring it to a boil over high heat. So while you're bringing your water to a boil, in a small bowl, we put those scallions that we chopped up, those sesame seeds we toasted, sugar, a little pepper, a little salt, a two teaspoons of rice wine vinegar, and a teaspoon of soy sauce. And then we use the back of a spoon, sort of smash the scallions. So while you're doing your next bit of prep, you're gonna to wanna to take your eggs out of the fridge, let them come up to not quite room temperature, but just take a little of the chill off. If we're just making the sandwich, we need four. If you're gonna make your own aioli from scratch, you'll need an additional egg. Okay, we're gonna put one egg yolk into our bowl and whisk it until it changes color and you see a few bubbles. So then we're gonna start drizzling in a half cup of neutral oil. I'm using sunflower oil, a little at a time. We wanna keep going until it looks like it can coat the back of a spoon. And through the magic of sped up television, we now have an aioli, or at least a mayonnaise. And then for flavor, we're gonna add a quarter cup of olive oil. We could be a little more speedy at this point. We don't have to be as worried about the emulsification. I'm gonna season it with a bit of salt and whisk it all to combine. I'm supposed to do one small clove of garlic grated. I only have a big clove, so we're gonna do about half. And a few drops of lemon juice, just for flavor. All right, so we're at a boil. We're gonna lower these eggs on a slotted spoon, carefully, he says. And we're gonna simmer them for eight minutes exactly. Then we're gonna take them out of the simmering water, put them into an ice bath, and let them hang out for about a minute. And then after they've sat for a minute, we're gonna take them out and sort of knock each one with a spoon and let them sit for just another second. And we cut them into thick slices. Ooh, that's jammy, all right. That's looking good. We're gonna take a quarter cup, or in this case, two tablespoons, which is the same thing, of our aioli. If you don't wanna make aioli, you can just doctor some mayonnaise with a little bit of garlic and lemon juice. And one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And stir them. So the recipe calls for four slices of bread, but we've got pretty big slices of potato bread, so I'd cut them in half. Okay, so we're gonna slather all four slices with our mustardy aioli. Top two of the slices with the eggs. And then we're gonna scallion sauce on top of the eggs. I love a good messy sandwich. <laughs> top with the other half. Okay, let's give this jammy egg and scallion sandwich a go. It is messy. This is a messy sandwich. You have to really like egg, not surprisingly. The texture of the egg is delicious. It's just like a the runny egg you would have in ramen. I like the mixture of textures, the jamminess of the egg, the creaminess of the aioli, the sort of sweet softness of the bread, um, and like a little bit of crunch from the scallions. Although next time I would probably use less of the white and more of the green so that they can get a little bit more softened in the, in the sauce. That's sort of how it shows it in the cookbook. So I'm sort of rethinking how I might approach that the next time. But the saltiness of the soy, the, the lemony and the garlicky from the aioli, it's a nice combination. But I think we can plus this up. So we're gonna plus it up with a little bit of California Heat Dry Chili Crisp by Burlap and Barrel. They developed this blend in collaboration with the editors of the Los Angeles Times food section. And it's basically a dry chili crunch uh, without any oil in it. It's got shallots and chilies and all the usual stuff, but no oil. So it's great if you need the flavors of a chili crunch, 
without any additional moisture or fat. Okay, so let's give this jammy egg and scallion sandwich, plussed up with California heat, dry chili crisp, a go. That's what this needed. It's just a little something extra, the spice from the chilies, the crunch from the scallions, the general umaminess of, of a chili crisp, but without any additional oil. It's really nice. It plays really nicely with the bright textures and colors of the aioli and the scallions and the eggs. Um, and um, it's a great combination. So in terms of scoring, I think the original jammy egg and scallion sandwich was tasty. I would give it like a good six and a half, seven. I think that um, it needed a little something. And frankly, the fact that it's so messy, I would probably go with thicker slices of bread next time. Um, plussed up with the California heat dry chili crisps, I'm gonna give that a full seven and a half, maybe even an eight. Um, especially if I made the changes to the bread and the, using the different parts of the scallion next time. However, would I make this again? I'm struggling to imagine a situation where I would. It's a lot of effort to make just a sort of a casual lunch for one or two people, but I don't think it would hold well, so it would not be a great option for a party or a dinner party or a picnic um, or anything else that would sort of warrant that level of effort. So probably wouldn't make it again. Definitely gonna finish that one though.